We are now going to take a lower alginate impression, mandibular alginate impression on our patient. Um, before we start, we want to mention that we're going to be doing this from the 11 o'clock position, that the patient is seated about at the level of my elbows, which is normally uh, our working height. When we sit down and work on patients and recline them, they are in the level of our lap or at the level of our elbows. So we're going to work at the same position when we take alginate impressions. We have our same material. We have our mixing bowl, our tray that we have fitted in advance, uh, our water and our powder. We will add our powder to our mixing bowl. Add the water to our powder, mixing slowly at first to incorporate the powder into the liquid and not get it all over the operatory. Once we have it incorporated, we will mix more vigorously. To eliminate the air bubbles, around the bowl to gather our material. We will add to our tray. Stepping behind our patient, open please. We will insert the tray. Lift your tongue up, please. Good. Head down, and we will just hold here until it sets. My fingers are blocking the nice impression of her chin I've gotten with the extra material. And again, it's still glossy, so we know that it's not set. When it loses the gloss and gets a dull appearance, we will know that it is set. If you do happen to get some alginate on your patient's face, it's always better to let it set first before you try and clean it up. It's easier to remove. It'll come off all in one piece. If you try and remove it while it's wet, you will smear it all over and make much more difficult cleanup. So we're almost there. One piece, clean up. Okay, again, breaking the seal posteriorly. Say, ah, cat. Ah, ah. Beautiful. We have our lower impression. Nice. 